Hello, welcome to the fourth video in the first person game setup using Unreal 5. In the previous video we set up the WASD character movement in our character blueprint. This video we will discuss how to create a jump input. Uh, so in the previous video, we previous videos, we set up camera movement and then we set up WASD to move the character around. So uh, in a previous video, we set up our uh, input action for jump. If I double click on that, this is a Boolean type, so on off true false. When I hit the space bar, it will allow us to jump. If I look at my input mapping context, and I added a new mapping in the previous video, IA jump and sync that to the space bar button. Okay. We also in a previous video created this character blueprint and you can look at the previous two videos on how to set up camera movement and the begin play that syncs it to the input mapping context that I just showed you and then also the WASD movement for left, right, forward, backward motion. So I also added this IA jump. You can right click IA underscore jump and this is the uh, enhanced action event. So jump is probably the easiest one that we've done so far. Uh, we do want to open up the arrow because as default it is just triggered and the action value. We want to do triggered and completed this time. So there is a function that is already created within Unreal's blueprints for jump and is synced to the character movement component. And we want to open up the arrow for the jump action. And when I drag out from triggered, I'm going to just going to type jump. And there is a function already called jump. So when I tap spacebar, hit triggered trigger that action, I want to jump, and then completed, I want to drag out from that, and I want to type stop jumping. So when I let go of spacebar, I want it to stop jumping. I fall back down, physics takes a hold of it, pulls it back down to the ground. Okay, so that's it. That's all we really need to do. We can go ahead and create a comment here and call jump. We can put a color to it if we want to. Organize it with the rest of them. Okay. But our jump is triggered to the jump function, completed to stop jumping. Okay. We can also determine, before I go test this out, we can determine how high the character will jump. So if I go to character movement, and if I go down to jump Z velocity, you can make the character jump higher. And there's also in air controls. So how much do you want to be able to manipulate the character's movement while in air? As in, uh, if I hit spacebar and hit WASD while I'm in the air, I can move the character around some while in the air. The higher that air control value, the more you can move the character while in the air. So I would suggest testing this out and then seeing if you want to change any of those values. So compile and save. And if I hit play, we previously set up mouse and WASD, but now we should be able to hit spacebar and it jumps. When I let go of spacebar, it stops jumping. Uh, and uh, it will jump a certain height at 420 centimeters. And if I'm jumping, I can actually still move around in the air just a little bit uh, as I'm in the air. So I can still control the character as I'm in the air. If you wanted to make the character jump higher, you can increase that to like uh, 700, over twice as high, or not almost twice. I can also increase the air control. Let's do 0 0.1. 0 0.05 is what was default, so now I should be able to jump and control the character a lot more while in the air. So if I hit play again, I'm jumping a lot higher and I can move the character in the air more with WASD with that higher air control. All right, that wraps up this video on uh, adding jump to our first person character setup. In the next videos, we'll add some secondary character inputs and controls. Uh, so uh, this video wraps up the main interactions of look or the camera, movement with WASD, and jump with a first-person game setup.